Hi, I'm Paul Turnbull, and we're here with the uh, uh, Mustang Mach-E GT. And uh, for 2024, it's got some nice upgrades to the motor and the uh, software to drive the motor. Uh, and it delivers some pretty awesome performance statistics. Now it's up to 480 horsepower with 700 foot-pounds of torque. And that gives us uh, 3.7 seconds for this zero to 60. And I think an improvement in the quarter mile time. We'll have to try to check that out. Um, so we're having a lot of fun with this car. Let's talk about the, the motors that enable this new performance. Um, the upgrade went from a supplier-based motor, uh, which is a great motor from uh, Borg Warner. Uh, and Borg Warner knows motors. They've been doing bar wound motors uh, since the beginning of bar wound technology. And uh, it's a great motor, but Ford has decided to bring this technology in-house and make a few uh, subtle changes to the motor design. Both motors have almost identical performance. Um, in this case, though, uh, Ford has decided to go with uh, a winding that's a little different. Um, here they have the connections made up here on the weld side as opposed to the crown side. And on the weld side, they're making connections to both the inside and the outside layers. So there's a total of four connections made with each of the three phases. And that, that gives us something we call four parallel paths. Um, that allows them to, uh, enables a little bit more current flow capability. Here we had two parallel paths. Now we're going to four parallel paths. Um, but then in order to get the same torque, they had to increase the stack length for this. So that you notice this one's a little longer than uh, the original motor. So the stack length is a little different. Um, but that also, again, gives the motor uh, great thermal capacity. And so that's going to be an enabler for holding on to that torque for a little longer to maybe give them uh, the quarter mile times that they're looking for. Um, it also gives them some flexibility as a thing, and I have no idea what Ford's plans are for the future, but this winding um, bears a very interesting similarity to the Hyundai winding, and Hyundai's system is at 800 volts, and all Hyundai has done is take the same winding and put in double the number of turns and go with two parallel paths instead of four, to give them a performance very similar to this, but at 800 volts. And so this leaves Ford an option, uh, easy upgrade path or path to get to 800 volts with this same winding configuration. And it's just a slight difference in how they connect it up here. So a uh, clever little design uh, feature on the new motor and also bringing the, house, the, the motor in-house allows them to maintain some commonality with between this motor on, on the Mach-E and on the Lightning. Uh, so the two vehicles using the same motor increases their volume. There's obvious cost and complexity benefits there. Um, and now that their volume uh, accommodates that, uh, bringing it in-house made the um, economic sense to do that. So we're pretty excited to see the, the new motor. Um, and to see what the new uh, Mach-E is able to do with that new motor technology. So one of the other features that I wanted to point out is that with the earlier uh, Borg Warner stator, it has these welds to, to hold the stator laminations together. And the welds are tried and true technology for holding the stator together, but they add extra loss in the motor. The new uh, in-house motor is using a bonded lamination technology. And essentially the laminations are glued together. So there's no um, electrical short circuit that the uh, weld produces. So when you weld them all together, you also electrically connect the, the um, laminations together. And that produces an eddy current path for extra loss. And so this should be a little bit more efficient, especially at light load, 
uh, like during a city drive cycle. And hopefully the electric range will benefit from that. Thanks a lot from Monroe Live.